Today's property is 1991. I'm gonna show you some items that are on every single one of my inspection reports with the property this age, this age and it's super easy to fix. Let's uh, go check that out, and then also I have one major find on this one that needs to be fixed immediately. Let's go check it out. All right, so one of my first items that I always have is uh, post-tension cables. Post-tension cables uh, start to expose themselves and the concrete pops off. All you need to do is grease it and remortar it back up just to prevent uh, the home inspector calling out and future damage to the property. All right, so another problem that I always have on the outside is very minor, but people see this and they automatically think their foundation's bad. This is on almost every single Texas property, you know, five years or older. What happens is the brick expands and contracts at a different rate the concrete does, and then it, it vibrates and it shifts and pops off the corners. Uh, there's not much of a fix you can do for this. You can cosmetic, patch it back up, but most of the time it's gonna pop back off again. Let's go check out the next item. All right, so for the next item that we have is the heavy foliage on the outside. Inspectors are most of the time going to call this out. And what this does is it, it limits my visibility to see the structure, but also what, it really, what I'm really worried about is termites. Termites are attracted to shade, moisture, and wood. This is the perfect environment for them. So what you really want to do is trim the foliage 18 inches off the structure, and that will help reduce the chances of you getting termites. Let's go check out the next one. So for the next item, what I really hate is whenever you have pretty flowers outside, it distracts me from the property. So I recommend before your inspector shows up, just cut them all out so I can do my job. Let's go check out the next item. On all these single pane windows right here, we have this plastic weather stripping. A lot of the times it's broken and this allows air to flow in and possibly water. So I recommend maybe before you put your house on the market is to seal up all these weather stripping and that will reduce the items that's on your inspection report. Let's go check out another one. Another item that's always on my inspection reports are the gutters. The gutters are always damaged or leaking or overflowing and not properly sloped. If you can get these up into working condition, that will give you a cleaner inspection report. So I accidentally brought my bigger little giant ladder today. It's the 22 footer. Uh, it's a little harder to operate, but I'm a probably because I'm a smaller guy, but I can operate it pretty easily. Let's head up to the roof and uh, check out the items up there. One of my favorite things to do is actually climb to the top of the roof. I don't know why, I might be a monkey or something, but I like to get in and look at all the nooks and crannies uh, so I can help better protect my client on their purchase. But one of the things that's unique about this one, this roof's only eight or nine years old, but the squirrels have actually chewed up the lead plumbing jacks and that has caused a, a water leak inside. Let me show you what those lead plumbing jacks look like, then head up to the top of the roof and show you my final find. All right, here goes nothing. So you can see right here, the fireplace chimney cap is damaged. And then right over here, the tree is broken apart and fallen into the roof. Hasn't caused any damage to the shingles, which they got lucky, but you're probably gonna wanna trim or remove this tree. All right, so if you have any home inspection questions, please give me a call and please like and share the videos. Thanks guys, bye.